Venn diagrams and two-way tables. These are the really important skills for this unit in probability and this video will introduce you to using Venn diagrams and two-way tables and what they are. So imagine 20 people were asked if they own a dog and 15 of them said yes. So that's nice and easy. What's the probability that a randomly chosen person would own a dog? That would be 15 of them out of 20 and that would simplify with our calculator 15 out of 20 down to 3 over 4. So that says two things. That says three quarters of the people owned a dog but it also said when I choose someone at random that the chance that they have a dog is three quarters. Then we asked the same people if they own a cat. 13 of them said yes. So the probability that anyone randomly chosen in the group owns a cat is 13 out of 20. Now, Venn diagrams and two-way tables are two ways of helping us solve problems to do with probability and numbers when two different questions are asked. when two different questions are asked. Because obviously we've got a problem here. 15 people said that they own a dog and 13 people said they own a cat. Now that adds up to 28 and we've only got 20 people. So I'm sure you can see what's happened here. Because they just got asked, do you own a dog? And they said yes. The, then they got asked, do you own a cat? 13 people said yes. Obviously some people said yes to both because they've got both a dog and a cat. So then we asked, well, who owns both a dog and a cat? And 10 of them owned both. So that is 15 own a dog, 13 own a cat, and 10 own both. You've got to remember in Venn diagrams and two-way tables, when they say 15 people own a dog or 13 people are wearing their blazer or 21 people rode their bike to school, that's everybody in that group who did those things. It's not leaving out the both. Let's look at how this works. We want to be able to put this information into a Venn diagram and a two-way table. So a Venn diagram consists of a rectangle with overlapping circles and each circle will be labeled with the event that is one of those questions that was asked. So this circle is going to be cat and this circle is going to be dog. So in a Venn diagram you label each circle with the event. So the event that we're interested in was do you own a cat? Our event is cat. Now when I'm told 15 people own a dog, that's the total number of people who own a dog. There's four zones on a Venn diagram where the circles are and in the outside here. In this area here, I'm going to put the people who own a dog but not a cat. In this area here, I'm going to put the people who own a cat but not a dog. And here I'll put the people who own both. Now I know how many people own both, it's 10. So I can put the 10 in immediately. So the both goes where the circles overlap because 10 people are in the cat circle and the dog circle. But the 15 and the 13, these go outside the circle because the total number of people who own a dog, the total number of people in the dog circle all up is 15. 
and the total number of people who own a cat all up is 13. Now we can put a couple of other numbers in before we get started and one of those is the total. It goes outside at the top left of the rectangle and the total number of people we asked was 20. They told us that. So now we have to do some problem solving to work out from that how many people only owned a cat, how many people only owned a dog and did anyone own neither. So the problem is, if 13 people owned a cat at all, so at the moment we said, do you own a cat, 13 people put their hand up. But 10 of those people also owned a dog, so 13 minus 10, three people only owned a cat. I'm sure you can work this one out. 15 people said yes to a dog, but 10 of those also had a cat, so 15 minus 10, Five of those had a dog. Now, we never want to count the 13 and the 15, the total of the circles, when we're trying to add up everybody. Because if I counted these 13 people and these 15 people, I would count those 10 twice. You think about it. When I said, do you own a dog? 15 people put their hand up. When I said, do you own a cat? 13 people put their hand up. When I said, do you own both, everyone had already put their hand up. Ten people put their hand up, but they'd already put their hand up before. They'd already been counted. So when you're counting the total number of people hanging out, you're only counting these numbers. Don't count these. That's three for a cat only, ten for both, and five for a dog only. In total, that's 18 people. Where are the other two? They don't own a pet at all. And where we put them is inside the rectangle, but not in the circles. Sorry about that being a little bit hard to read there. So those two people are there, and they join in to add up to the total of 20. So there's four numbers that really matter in a Venn diagram. Here, 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 and here, the four zones of a Venn diagram. So that's a Venn diagram. That's how we make them. So if we want to take some little notes about that, the total goes here. Neither goes here. This gets the total of question one. Total of event one. This gets the total of event two. In here, it's only event one, whatever that event is. In here, it's only event two, whatever that was. And in here, it's both. And it's these four numbers add up to the total. The total all up. So that's a Venn diagram, and we'll do a lot of time practicing those. Now, a two-way table has a bit more information, but it's actually got the same stuff. And the thing you have to realize is that it uses the complements of each event as well. So the four numbers that are really important in the two-way table are going to end up in the four, sorry, that are really important in the Venn diagram are going to end up in the four middle cells of the two-way table. The two top ones here, actually I'll draw this down here, this will be my labeled one. This gets event one, it doesn't matter which event, one of them, so cats or dogs, and the complement. 
So if the first question was, do you have a dog? So this is dog and the complement of having a dog is not having a dog. These two get event two and the complement. So question two was, do you have a cat? And the complement of having a cat is having no cat. Then you can see where the numbers go. Here we've got the people who have a cat and a dog. It comes straight from the Venn diagram. That's 10. Cat, but no dog. 3. Dog, but no cat. 5. No cat and no dog. 2. Then everything else is the totals. Oop, total. Total. And so, the total number of people who had a dog also comes from the Venn diagram out here. That's 15. The total number of people who had a cat is 13. And you can add that up anyway, 10 plus 3, 13. The total number of, this is where now we're out of what's in the Venn diagram a bit, because now I'm looking for the total who had no cat, 5 plus 2, and the total who had no dog, 3 plus 2, and the last total is the total number of people altogether, and this column should add up to 20, and these two, row, these two here should add up to 20, and that's the total of the Venn diagram. So it's usually easier to make a Venn diagram and then make a two-way table.